Canada is a country located in the northern part of North America. It is the second largest country in the world by land area, after Russia. Canada is known for its diverse landscapes, which include vast forests, mountain ranges, and numerous lakes and rivers. Hey, how are you doing today? I hope everything is going well for you. Welcome to my channel, Knowledge of World. Canada was formed in 1867 by the union of three British colonies, Ontario, Quebec, and Nova Scotia. The country has since grown to include 10 provinces and three territories. There were magical landmarks and breathtaking attractions that captured the hearts of travelers from all corners of the world. In the enchanting city of Toronto, the CN Tower reached towards the heavens, its towering presence offering a bird's eye view of the sprawling city and the shimmering waters of Lake Ontario. Nearby, the mesmerizing Niagara Falls roared with power and beauty, drawing visitors to witness its awe-inspiring majesty and feel the spray on their faces. Farther west, nestled amidst the rugged beauty of the Rocky Mountains, Banff National Park beckoned adventurers with its emerald lakes, towering peaks, and an abundance of wildlife. It was a realm of natural wonders, where the whispers of ancient forests harmonized with the winds that danced through the valleys. In the romantic streets of old Quebec City, cobblestone paths led travelers back in time. The historic architecture whispered stories of the past, and the elegant Chateau Frontenac stood tall, watching over the city like a protective guardian. At Parliament Hill in Ottawa, the heart of Canada's governance, visitors marveled at the grandeur of Gothic Revival-style buildings. Guided tours unveiled the secrets within, painting a picture of the nation's history and pride. On the western coast, Vancouver's Stanley Park was a haven of tranquility, where lush greenery kissed the shores of the Pacific Ocean. The park's scenic seawalls and gardens embraced visitors, offering solace and escape from the bustling urban life. Across the waters of the Pacific, Granville Island in Vancouver was an artistic haven. Its public market bustled with life, displaying a vibrant tapestry of artisan crafts, theaters, and galleries. The island came alive with creativity and expression, attracting dreamers and art lovers alike. In the picturesque province of British Columbia, the Butchert Gardens were a horticultural paradise. A symphony of colors and scents enchanted all who strolled through its winding paths, a testament to the wonders nature could create. In the winter wonderland of Whistler Blackham, the snowy mountains became a playground for winter sports enthusiasts. As the seasons changed, Whistler transformed into a realm of alpine adventures and breathtaking vistas, leaving visitors with unforgettable memories. On the east coast, Peggy's Cove stood as a beacon of serenity amidst the rocky coastal scenery of Nova Scotia. The iconic lighthouse gazed out to the vast ocean, guiding sailors and inspiring artists who sought its timeless beauty. And finally, in the bustling city of Toronto, the Royal Ontario Museum opened its doors to a world of art, culture, and history. Visitors embarked on journeys through time, immersing themselves in diverse exhibits that celebrated humanity's rich tapestry. In this magical land of Canada, the landscapes were as diverse as its people, and each landmark and attraction was a chapter in a wondrous tale that welcomed travelers to explore, dream, and discover. The capital of Canada is Ottawa, which is located in the province of Ontario. The population of Canada is about 38 million people. The majority of Canadians live in urban areas, with the largest cities being Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver. There are over 1,000 cities in Canada, with the largest being Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver. Here are 10 famous cities in Canada. Toronto is the most populous city in Canada, with a population of over 2.7 million people. It is located in the province of Ontario, on the northwestern shore of Lake Ontario. Toronto is a major financial, commercial, and cultural centre. It is home to the CN Tower, the Hockey Hall of Fame, and the Royal Ontario Museum. Montreal is the second most populous city in Canada, with a population of over 1.7 million people. It is located in the province of Quebec, on the island of Montreal. Montreal is a major economic, cultural, and educational centre. It is home to the Montreal Canadiens, the Montreal Science Centre, and the Notre Dame Basilica. Vancouver is the third most populous city in Canada, with a population of over 660,000 people. It is located in the province of British Columbia, on the southwestern tip of Vancouver Island. Vancouver is a major port city and a popular tourist destination. It is home to Stanley Park, the Vancouver Aquarium, and the Gastown District. Ottawa is the capital of Canada, with a population of over 930,000 people. It is located in the province of Ontario, on the south bank of the Ottawa River. Ottawa is a major government and cultural centre. It is home to Parliament Hill, the National Gallery of Canada, and the Canadian War Museum. Calgary is the largest city in the province of Alberta, with a population of over 1.3 million people. 
It is located in the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. Calgary is a major center for the oil and gas industry. It is also a popular tourist destination, known for its rodeos and festivals. Edmonton is the capital of the province of Alberta, with a population of over 1 million people. It is located on the North Saskatchewan River. Edmonton is a major center for the oil and gas industry. It is also a popular tourist destination, known for its festivals and attractions such as the Royal Alberta Museum and the West Edmonton Mall. Winnipeg is the capital of the province of Manitoba, with a population of over 750,000 people. It is located on the Red River. Winnipeg is a major commercial and transportation center. It is also a popular tourist destination, known for its festivals and attractions such as the Assiniboine Park Zoo and the Museum of Human Rights. Hamilton is a city in the province of Ontario, with a population of over 570,000 people. It is located on the west bank of Lake Ontario. Hamilton is a major steel producer and a popular tourist destination, known for its waterfalls and parks such as Dundon Castle. Quebec City is the capital of the province of Quebec, with a population of over 540,000 people. It is located on the north shore of the St. Lawrence River. Quebec City is a major tourist destination, known for its French colonial architecture and its annual winter carnival. Halifax is the capital of the province of Nova Scotia, with a population of over 420,000 people. It is located on the south shore of Halifax Harbour. Halifax is a major port city and a popular tourist destination, known for its beaches, its historic buildings, and its annual Halifax Pop Explosion Music Festival. Some of the most famous businesses in Canada include Air Canada, Rogers Communications, and the Hudson's Bay Company. Canada is a very safe and stable country. The crime rate is low, and the government is generally considered to be honest and efficient. The most common religion in Canada is Christianity, followed by Islam and Hinduism. The Canadian economy is one of the strongest in the world. The country is a major exporter of natural resources, such as oil, gas, and minerals. The currency of Canada is the Canadian dollar, CAD. It is divided into 100 cents. The CAD is a fiat currency, which means that it is not backed by any physical commodity. The value of the CAD is determined by supply and demand in the foreign exchange market. The CAD is the 11th most traded currency in the world. It is used in both Canada and the Caribbean. The CAD is pegged to the US dollar, which means that its value is linked to the value of the US dollar. This helps to stabilize the value of the CAD and makes it a more attractive currency for investors. The CAD is a strong currency, and it is often used as a hedge against inflation. The CAD is also a popular currency for trading commodities, such as oil and gas. Citizens of countries that need a visa to enter Canada can apply for a visa online or at a Canadian Visa Application Centre. The application process for a visa to Canada can be found on the Government of Canada website. The visa policy of Canada is subject to change, so it is important to check the latest information on the Government of Canada website before you travel. Here are some of the things to consider when applying for a visa to Canada. You must have a valid passport. You must have a valid travel medical insurance policy. You must have a confirmed onward travel booking. You must have enough money to support yourself during your stay in Canada. You must meet the admissibility requirements for Canada. The admissibility requirements for Canada include having a clean criminal record and not being a security threat. If you are applying for a visa to Canada, you should start the application process early. The processing time for a visa to Canada can vary, but it is typically several weeks. One of Canada's best kept secrets is its natural beauty. The country is home to some of the most stunning scenery in the world, from the snow-capped mountains of the Rockies to the lush forests of the Pacific coast. Canadian cuisine is a melting pot of different cultures. Some of the most popular foods in Canada include poutine, maple syrup, and beaver tails. The official languages of Canada are English and French. However, there are also many other languages spoken in Canada, including Chinese, Punjabi, and Italian. Canada is a leader in the field of technology. The country is home to many major technology companies, such as BlackBerry and Nortel. Canada is a parliamentary democracy. The head of state is the Queen of Canada, who is represented by the Governor General. The head of government is the Prime Minister. These are only a few broad facts about the world and its countries. There is much more to learn about the world and its people. To know everyone that follows us and stays with us, since we need everyone to progress forward. Thank you a lot.